Elon Musk has declared his decision to leave his position as Twitter's CEO and provided a very precise date for his departure. With that, Musk opened up why leaving the post is very difficult for him. Also, reportedly Musk has identified candidates like Sriam Krishnan, an engineer and confidant of Musk, or Sheryl Sandberg, the former chief operating officer of Facebook. However, there are two more candidates for the job who have the highest chance of succeeding as CEO of Twitter. Furthermore, Musk has made it plain that in the future, only premium subscribers with a confirmed blue tick will be able to vote on policy changes. This choice was made after Musk received a specific justification from a Twitter user for why the poll about Musk's future must be disregarded. Moreover, Musk has warned that Twitter could experience net negative cash flow of several billion dollars as early as 2023 after letting go of Twitter employees just last month. This is a very interesting situation, so let's explain it. After millions of Twitter users responded to his poll and voted for Elon Musk's departure from the company, he has confirmed that he will step away as CEO, but only when an appropriate successor is identified. For the first time ever, Musk directly addressed this issue in a tweet. Elaborating on his intentions in a tweet, Musk jokingly claimed that he would resign as soon as I find someone foolish enough to take the job. He further highlighted that despite leaving the CEO position at Twitter, he may still remain instrumental in managing its software and servers departments. In other words, Elon's influence over Twitter could continue even after stepping away from leading it. Furthermore, the billionaire had committed to respect the outcome of a Twitter poll. After the poll's results became public, Musk remained silent for more than a day. Only on Monday did he vaguely respond, hinting that the future of Twitter surveys should only be available to those who pay for Twitter Blue. Over 17 million people had already participated in the survey when this announcement was made, and of these, 57.5% voted that Musk should resign as CEO. After Elon Musk promised to step down as CEO when he could find a new CEO for the job, a popular YouTuber Mr. Beast threw his name into the running for that very position. Can I be the new Twitter CEO? Mr. Beast tweeted. Musk simply responded, it's not out of the question. It's uncertain if either of them are being sarcastic, but it appears that Mr. Beast is backing Musk's decision to move away from his role as the head tweeter. In the wake of a fierce public outcry against Twitter's sudden suspension of numerous reporters who closely follow Elon Musk, as well as their wavering stance on banning and unbanning hyperlinks to major social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Mastodon, the latter having skyrocketed in size over the past several months, Musk posed an online survey asking Twitter users if he should resign from his position as CEO. In the short time Musk has been at the helm of one of the world's most influential social media entities, he has brought about sweeping and often unpredictable changes. In a matter of days, Twitter unveiled their new paid verification feature, then was forced to swiftly retract it as satirical accounts impersonating major brands, athletes, and other public figures took full advantage. Elon Musk often implements significant product modifications based on his own informal Twitter posts, demonstrating an unpredictable management style. Unfortunately, this has provoked a plethora of criticism from the Twitter community and beyond. Last week, certain journalists were blocked for reporting about the permanent ban of one account that monitored Elon's jet movements. Also, as Musk recently highlighted, searching for the proper individual to manage their social media platform may prove difficult. After letting go of Twitter employees just last month, he warned those that stayed on that his business could witness net negative cash flow of several billion dollars as early as 2023 and bankruptcy is a real possibility. No one wants the job who can actually keep Twitter alive, he tweeted following this week's poll. In November 2021, Jack Dorsey resigned as chief executive of Twitter. Nevertheless, many are speculating that he might return to lead the company. Additionally, speculation has been swirling around potential replacements such as Sheryl Sandberg, Facebook's previous chief operating officer, Shiram Krishnan, engineer and confidant to Musk, and Jared Kushner, who served as a key advisor to former President Donald Trump. In the past, Musk was known to comply with Twitter's polls. He often quoted the Latin phrase, Vox Populi, Vox Dei, which symbolically signals that the voice of the people is equal to God's. Last October, Musk acquired the social media site and proceeded to terminate approximately half of its employees while attempting to launch Twitter's paid-for verification feature. The rollout was temporarily halted after a successful relaunch last week. Twitter's acclaimed verification feature is now available for a second time, with the launch having been paused in between. The service requires a low-cost fee of $8 monthly or an extra charge of $11 for Apple App users and grants access to their blue tick badge. The blue tick has previously been used as an emblem of credibility and was given out at no cost. 
Furthermore, civil liberties organizations have fiercely opposed his tactics for regulating online content, accusing him of exacerbating the spread of hate speech and false information. Recently, the United Nations and European Union has criticized Musk due to Twitter's decision of barring certain reporters who cover the social media platform. The UN sternly proclaimed that media freedom should not be taken lightly, while the EU warned Twitter of possible sanctions. On Tuesday, he made it clear that only paid subscribers with a verified blue tick would be able to cast their vote on policy modifications in the future. After one individual posited that bot accounts had exerted considerable influence on the survey about Musk's part in the business, he proclaimed his surprise. The thought was interesting to him. The story of Musk and Twitter, however, is far from over. He will still have ownership in the company, as it's unlikely that anyone would buy the company out anytime soon, and certainly not at his purchase price. And it's safe to bet he'll remain a prolific tweeter with high influence on the platform. Musk must locate someone willing to take his place and work harmoniously together with him, which could be an arduous task. Moreover, for weeks, investors have demanded that Musk should quit his role at the helm of the social media platform due to his lack of attention towards managing Tesla. Tesla stocks have crumbled an astonishing 65% within the last 12 months, with Elon Musk's sale of several billion dollars worth of Tesla stock contributing to this drastic decline. Dan Ives, the renowned analyst at Wedbush Securities, expressed his approval when Elon Musk released a tweet on Tuesday. He stated that it was an encouraging step to finally put an end to Tesla investors' distressful situation. That's it for subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.